Hi, I'm Ron DiMatteo. I'm the president of the SSO, and we're going to start a series of probably monthly videos to connect the membership with some of the things that are going on currently uh, within the SSO. We're going to do this in an iterative fashion. Uh, we're going to try to make them less than five minutes each. We're going to send them from a very specific SSO email address in case for some reason you don't want to receive these emails, you can easily block them and still receive all the other SSO communications. So the idea for these interviews or these videos is to communicate current events and get you to understand all the work that is going on behind the scenes. And I think I will do some interviews with S SSO leadership, uh, with committee chairs, sometimes with SSO members, SSO staff, and even prior SSO leaders. Now, uh, uh, what I also wanna introduce are some of the newer things that we're working on uh, for this upcoming year. And we have about uh, five or seven different projects that we're going to start and see how successful they can be. And these will initially be led by members of the board of directors. Uh, and But in some cases, we will need to form committees to, to accomplish the amount of work that it'll take to get these things done. So one of the first areas, and it's, it's a bit of an extension of what's been done at our recent meeting, in terms of meeting with residents and even medical students is we're gonna identify a group of SSO members that will focus on sort of the pre-fellow candidates. The next uh, area that we wanna work on is mentoring between the meetings. As you know, uh, Dr. Kelly Hunt established a career catalyst program uh, and, and that has about eight members in it right now, but we wanna set up some other mentoring between institutions with various either current SSO leadership or past SSO leadership, and just connect people in ways that we've never uh, done before. So you'll see emails about getting volunteers for this, and then we'll also send out emails for, for people that wanna be mentored. The next area that we're going to broach is an area that's been talked about for probably at least 10 years at the SSO, and that's involving more non-physician members. Probably like my institution, you're now working with a lot more APPs and nurses to accomplish clinical care. And we really haven't had a portion of our society dedicated uh, at the educational level to those potential members. And so we're gonna try to get this off the ground this year. It's been something, as I mentioned, that's been discussed for at least 10 or 15 years. And I think now is the time to really try to make it happen. Another area that we're going to look into is to establish operative videos for educational content, and these would be available to all members through the SSO website. Another sort of novel area that I'd like to see is for us to have a monthly summary of the major clinical and major scientific advances in cancer. And this is going to take a, a handful of people to accomplish but they could report on, for instance, the top two or three advances at any given meeting and also alert our membership to any major advances in the scientific literature. Another area, of course, is we have to keep our strategic plan implementation going, and we're going to identify a few people, in, in addition to the SSO staff, of course, that will focus on making sure we're moving along uh, with the many milestones that were set up through this strategic plan. And then the last one uh, is, is focusing on a greener operating room. And uh, we'll, we'll bring this up in a later video, but one of our, uh, one of our uh, board of directors brought this to our attention that we should really start working on this. Uh, any surgeon knows that even the smallest operation uh, winds up having a lot of uh, trash and and I think we all could do better and, and the SSO should be part of this. So uh, after all these things get going and, and we're hoping to get them going in the next few weeks, the other uh, area that we've paid attention to is just communicating in a better way a lot of our education events. And you can now find a master calendar on the SSO website. If you click under education, it'll tell you all the different webinars, et cetera, that are coming up in, in the 
in the next few weeks. And of course, lastly, we through all this, we have to work on uh, always trying to make our annual meetings better, the SSO meeting as well as the ACT meeting. So uh, this concludes uh, my first video. I hope uh, the ensuing ones uh, you'll uh, enjoy. Uh, a few of them will be coming out even in, in the next two weeks. Thanks very much.